hey everyone welcome back to another video and welcome if you are new so today i'm doing some easy and simple almost beginner friendly nails and i'm gonna be reviewing the new madame glam collection for june and they also kindly sent me a cuticle oil which is really really nice and i'm really happy i have this because i've been wanting one of these like little drop bottle cuticle oils for a while now so yeah i'm just gonna quickly rub some on because my cuticles were dry and then i'm just gonna get straight in and show you some of the packaging so this cuticle oil and all of the madame glam gel polishes they are vegan cruelty free they are just really good high quality products as you can see here um, and this cuticle oil was also 15 mils and so are these gel polishes so i'm just going to show you every single one so these gel polishes are not your regular cream kind of opaque kind of gel polishes these are like a milky slash sheer consistency and i love these because sometimes i really like to build up a nail or go super natural and these are honestly perfect for that so this shade is called sandcastle and that one was had a bit of like a little texture in there kind of like these little shimmers slash sparkles which i thought was really cool this one is one of my favorites it's just a nice milky lavender purple and then you, i also picked out this nice pinky one just because you can never go wrong with a pink so i always like to pick out some sort of a pinky shade from their collection and this one is beautiful and another favorite which i really really liked was this one and i did use this one in today's video it's called it's called oceanside i think if i read that correctly um and it's just really really beautiful it's just such a like a bright blue but it's just nice and milky um and the consistency of these gels were also kind of thin too which was nice and like I said in one of my previous videos, I do have to try out a new um, kind of like base coat. So I try, I'm trying out this Savvy Land one and I'm hoping it's going to work good for this video. But um, upon like looking at the consist consistency of this, it felt quite thin um, compared to my Born Pretty one. And I was looking for something similar, if not thicker than that, because I feel like it just really helps me when it comes to doing my nails. So we'll test it out and see if it works. So I'm just starting off, of course, with a peel of base coat, which is a absolute necessary step for me. And... Obviously, I apply this so I can pop the nails off after. Then I'm just going to size out my nail tips as that's drying. Then I'm just going to apply some of that Savvy Land base coat to the wells of the tips. And I'm also applying that as base coat to my natural nails as well and then curing for 60 seconds. So once that's all done, I'm just going to start by curing on the nails just like so. And this is a really convenient way to do uh, for me to apply my nails, especially using this little light that I have. And now I'm just going to trim down the nail tips. Today I took down um, like about a quarter of the nail tip off, which was um, a pretty good length, I feel like, for this nail design. And then I'm taking my Sani e-file and on a speed of four, I'm going to just remove the shine using a sanding band. Then once we're done with the prepping part of the nail set, we are going to just go in with that Savvy Land base coat again and I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this to all of my nails. So to start off this nail set, I'm actually going to use these really beautiful colors to create my little colored part of the nail tip instead of using a poly gel like I would normally do. So I'm doing two coats of this because I was thinking the one coat was just a bit too sheer and I cured the first color for about 60 seconds and then I'm doing the opposite color on the ring finger and I'm going to do two coats of that as well and then cure. Thank you. 
then once that was how I like it I'm basically gonna try and create a bit of an ombre um, using these two colors but I feel like these colors ended up looking really similar and in the end like nail set you can't really tell that they're two separate colors so I wish I had done this with like the blue and the purple kind of shade the more lavender kind of shade I thought that would have looked a little bit um, better just a little bit more different but from up, up until this point the colors did show up differently they didn't look that similar but I think later on when I apply the matte top coat it just kind of covers that up a bit which is a shame but yeah that was kind of like what I was trying to do just create a bit of an ombre which I think is a really good beginner friendly way to um, do your nails because it's just gel polish and gel polish can be a lot easier to work with compared to poly gel so then going in with my favorite Madame Glam poly gel ever and my favorite nude ever, it's, um, it's in the shade Dahlia and I'm just using this as like a transition slash nail bed shade and I'm just going to blend this into that minty green. And then I'm just going to repeat this to the ring finger and I'm just going to speed it up a little bit just because it take, it kind of takes a little bit long um, for me to do this and it's, I don't want you guys to be here all day just watching um, everything on repeat so I'm just basically blending that down and the formula of this poly gel is super good like I've never had an issue with this um, formula the only thing is that Madame Glam products can be a little bit pricey so I don't always recommend but if you're looking for a good poly gel and don't mind the price then this is a great one for you. Um, another good one is also To Be Glam and Makat. So for the middle finger I'm just going to do a full nail of this because I kind of wanted to use my glitters a little bit more so I'm just doing a simple kind of layer of this here and if you guys are interested in the Madame Glam products that I'm using today and are interested in their new collection you can use my discount code CAMIN30 and that will save you 30% off your order and this one is not an affiliate link so it's just for you guys to use at checkout. And then just repeating that same nude color all the way down the pinky finger I'm just gonna kind of build my structure as well I'm not really gonna encapsulate these now so I just created um, a thicker area towards the cuticle towards like the nail bed area to build my apex and then as I go down the nail it's just gonna get a little bit thinner just so that I have some structure there And for the other ombre nails, I ended up doing the nail bed color really nice and thick just so that I don't have to encapsulate it because when I'm applying a nude poly gel, I don't see why I need to encapsulate and protect it when it's like all one color. The whole point of me doing um, the encapsulation part of the nail is to protect like a design or an ombre or something. So the focus of me um, encapsulating would just be to protect that ombre. So I don't really like to encapsulate the like nail bed area. So 
So then just taking the Ice Blossom shade from Madame Glam. This is just their clear, but I feel like this clear has a bit of like reflective glitter in here. I'm not too sure, but every time I use either one of these Madame Glam poly gels, especially the clear, I see like these little reflective pieces. Um, I did put up a little story on my Instagram with like flash and you can kind of see it there so if you're interested um, to like see what I'm talking about go check it out on my Instagram I will have it linked down below you can follow me on at nails by Kamen. and yeah I just think it's very interesting I'm not sure if it's like a, a bit of like a reflective poly gel I'm just not sure but regardless I still really like these poly gels just because they're so good and this clay is really easy to move around as well so I'm just gonna kind of encapsulate everything down from the ombre kind of going into that nail bed area just because I feel like it's a bit of a waste to encapsulate right to the cuticle area and um, yeah I feel like it just also helps me keep that structure so I'm just gonna quickly do that and then just cure everything for 60 seconds So once my application is down exactly how I like it, I'm then just going to cure everything again and then wipe away the sticky layer which is really important just before filing and today I decided to hand file rather than use my e-file because I feel like my, um, my application was down pretty good so when, I, when this is the case I just like to hand file just to kind of neaten up everything a little bit and it saves me time so as you can see I'm just going to go along the side walls and then file over the surface and that's pretty much it and then I'm also going to buff using a buffing block. So once the nails have been buffed and filed, I'm going to take out my little chunky holographic glitter and I'm going to just apply a layer of the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat just to the ring finger um, just because I've been really wanting to do like a mix of an ombre and a shiny nail set. So I decided to do that for this design and keep the middle finger nice and glossy whilst keeping the others matte. And I am basically just going to tap this glitter in doing kind of like a ombre, I guess. A, it's kind of fade, it's going to fade up as I go. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing here. And I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's still watching. Thank you guys so much for being here right now and watching to this part of the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to comment like a little blue heart in the comment section. I would love to say hi to you if you're still here. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell because I upload pretty much every other day. Um, yeah, So definitely stay tuned for that and prior to uploading i always almost always put a little um story on my instagram just letting you guys know that a video will be going up today so if you want to be notified through instagram if that's easier for you then don't forget to follow me on there i will have it linked in the top section of my description box but it's also at nails by Kamin, so don't forget to follow me on instagram so once that glittery nail is down i cured it for 60 seconds and now taking the madame glam velvet matte top coat i'm gonna apply this to the remaining nails and this top coat is beautiful like it's just so perfect because 
it really smooths out those imperfections or any bumpiness which is another reason why i love this top coat it also really does feel velvety once it's cured like it feels so um, it almost feels really soft in a way it's kind of weird to say but yeah it feels really good and i'm just gonna do a thin layer of this really quick and then just cure in my light for 60 seconds And just before I move on to adding the charms, I quickly also just sealed in that glitter nail. And I've been loving to apply my loose glitter on top recently, especially when I can get it down really nice and flat. So that's what I'm doing there, just sealing that off. And of course, this had to be a beachy kind of nail set. Um, so I wanted to add like some seashells. And I didn't want to do like an over the top nail set because I recently did one and I feel like that was definitely a bit over the top so I wanted to do a def I definitely wanted to do a more beginner friendly stash easy beach kind of design for you guys to try out and maybe it will like help some people out there who are not so good at like doing nail art or those of you who just want a more simple um, nail design so that's pretty much what I'm doing I've done an ombre and now we're just going to decorate the nails using the charms and I feel like the gold charm was just really pretty I feel like it definitely worked so well with this look and I also really like this little multicolor little like pearl like the blue and purple thing I don't know what that is but it's so pretty and then for this nail I decided to do like pearls going down the side and I thought this was so pretty at first I was gonna do it all around the perimeter of the nail and then I really liked it just on one side so yeah this was a little bit tricky to do um, if you have the flat back pearls and I feel like those will be better to use but if you're gonna use these um, rounded pearls then stick them into some really thick gel or even some um, clear top um, clear poly gel because these of course will fall right off and they did because I'm just creating this video for content purposes I don't really need to focus on getting these on super strong but you guys if you're gonna you know keep this nail set on for a while then you probably should then I'm just finishing off the thumb with the beautiful little kind of multicolored pearl and then applying that Madame Glam cuticle oil and then just rubbing that in super well And this is the finished look let me know what you guys think i absolutely love how this nail turned out i always love a good matte set like i don't know what it is about the matte nails but sometimes the they just look so good and especially with like an ombre like this i feel like it just works so so good so yeah let me know what you guys think of like the matte and shiny combo i really wasn't sure on that but i did it anyway just to kind of try out something new and honestly i really love it i love that ring thing i feel like it's my favorite nail it's so simple yet so cute let me know in the comments which one was your favorite thank you guys so so much for watching and as always thank you for coming and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys